G'day folks, it's Cortezarino. We are back in Persia today because I've been building more houses. And you know what? With all this vacant real estate, we've got ourselves a business opportunity. Mr. Squid. Hi. So are you interested in buying one of our new properties here in Persia? No. The... <laughs> Well, what are you well, doing here? I guess, I guess, you'll, you'll get somebody else for your bid, I guess. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm totes down, dude. I got no money, but I'm willing to spend it all. Um, Well, we can work something out. So these right. first three houses are taken, but we've got some brand new properties up here oh, just waiting for someone house. to move in. Ooh, the suburbs. Yeah. All right. And this one comes with free llamas. <gasps> free that they're free yep oh actually uh, Dude, i'm down it's persia so they're camels I, th I guess they're funny looking camels i don't know man i don't know man camels got humps dude and, well we're totally not giving you the reject camels they're, they're, they're definitely camels <laughs> they're the camels that have the problems they don't have humps gotcha <laughs> <laughs> now all these houses are built to plan they're all got the same nine by nine floor floor pan but they are very very different inside mate so i'm sure you will find one that you are going to like so would you like to have a look inside yes i would i'm loving the pink floor beautiful it clashes with the bed but that's fine i could get a new bed you know <laughs> if i buy the house i could get a new bed no th is this staged or is this uh is it come with the furniture it, it all comes with the furniture mate everything's included the the best feature about this right. house i think is the the little divider. So it's only one room, but we, we break ah. it up here. So you've got a little bit of privacy. I do like it. I do like it. I'm guessing this is the kitchen right here. Um, yep. It's a, it's com compact, com efficient. <laughs> it it's is. an efficient kitchen. Yeah. And we've got an upstairs. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, so, look at this. I can sit out my balcony and point at everybody else and laugh at them. I got the magenta flooring house yep. and they didn't. <laughs> you, you can see right into the bedroom windows over there. I'm sure you'll oh. like that. That's actually a selling point, <laughs> Cortez. <laughs> That's a great selling point. <laughs> That's sick. No, I like this. I like yep. this house. So, no, the balcony is not very safe for children, though. So. That, that's the only point. <laughs> okay. Well, so, I mean, um, I, I think it's going to be difficult for them to climb the ladder, so we'll just stick them on the bottom floor. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So just, just don't bring Griff over here. Is probably. Oh so. yeah, yeah. Or at least put a helmet on him. All right. This is probably <laughs> the most expensive house, but seeing as you've got no money, it probably doesn't matter. It doesn't. No, it doesn't. So I can give you a hundred percent of my cash right now, and, and <laughs> the same as the other house. <laughs> so we've got a nice little patio area outside here, and yeah. we've got a balcony up the top too. So you've got lots of outdoor living options here. Ooh. No bed in the bottom floor. No, it's because we've got two nice. two floors, mate. This this is nah. a pretty big house. <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh here, yeah, here it is. This is the bedroom. Man, I could invite so many people over. We could have a party downstairs, and then we could come upstairs and just watch the sunset. Um, yeah, I'll I'll come for the party, but I don't really want to retreat to your bedroom for the uh -oh. night. But yeah, uh, I mean, I, I mean, you, it offers there. You, know, you change your mind. <laughs> 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 no, this is cool. I really like this. This is nice. Now, if you're looking to downsize a little bit, we've got a nice little one story over here, and it's a Ooh. lot darker theme, this one. We've got a few darker walls. You've got a little veggie patch outside. Nice. I always wanted the garden. I always kill my, my, my uh, veggies every single time. I'm growing uh, peppers right now. They're dead. Oh, They're dead. well, you're not growing them then, are you? Yeah, no. <laughs> now, we had a professional <laughs> oh, come in here to do the interior bed. decorating. Yes, yes, yes. Mate. This is fancy. So I'm just saying, I mean, the other houses didn't have a double bed, Cortez. Mm -hmm. I mean, you could sleep here with me if, if that's, uh, you know, the deal breaker there, you know. <laughs> well, it's a nice little retirement <laughs> home, you know. There's not much to maintain uh, here and nice here? and small. Don't think there's much oh, on the roof. Oh, but... nice. No, I like this. You could put, like, patio furniture out here. Yeah. Ooh I've been using it for killing creepers, but... Uh, that know. would work, too. <laughs> and An added bonus, all of these houses are creeper resistant. Resistant? Yep. Did you say resistant? Mm-hmm. Oh. You, you kind of have Ooh. to resist the urge to bring a creeper inside, and then you'll be fine. <laughs> I don't know, man. They're, not, they're party poopers, dude. 
Well, speaking of party poopers, this is the party house over here. <gasps> the why, Cortez, this should have been the first one you showed me. <laughs> so this one's <laughs> a lot smaller than the others. It's more uh-huh. of a beach house sort of set up. Good for uni students or college mm-hmm. students, you probably would say. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it's very cool on the inside. We've even wow. got a jukebox. It is definitely the party house, mate. Oh, wow. And then just open up these windows. Look at that. It's open. It's breezy. It's cool. Yeah. We're listening yeah. to music. We're beating bopping. Oh, man. Yeah, you got a lot I of sunlight it. shining in here. And you can just hang out on the patio all day long and oh, look at yeah. the the lovely view of the road. This This is really cool. I like it. I really do. And we are nice think- and close to the shopping center as well. We've got a brand new bazaar opening mm-hmm. up down the end of the street right here right oh over here. my god so that's like that's like key property right there yeah, yeah like i don't have to travel too far to get my bread you know Jeez. yeah yeah oh, they're gonna sell oh. everything here mate persian rugs and oh wow the the shoppers the shopkeepers haven't and, moved in yet we're still under construction but uh, each of these is going to be a separate shop here here's a here's a question though this mm. one's a big one do okay. they sell non-defective camels You've just given me an idea for another yeah. shop. I was trying to think of <laughs> <laughs> what, is, what was going to go in all of these. A non-defective camel shop is going to be yeah, the name. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I wanted. That's all I wanted. I'm glad Squid's that non-defective camels. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's great. No, I love them. I love them. Honestly, I think my favorite would be this one. But you know, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna save that one because I'm not a jerk, right? I'm gonna let you sell that one for full price. Okay, I think mm-hmm. I'm gonna take the the party house in the back, then. You like that one? Oh, I do, I do. And you'll notice sit back here, drink some bevs. Oh. Yeah, the the party house is the furthest away from uh, the ISFE as well. So the monks, you're not gonna keep them awake with your loud music. Perfect. I was, you know, I was just saying, like, we're going to get a little bit of rowdy. I don't want those monks yelling at me. I'm glad you brought that up. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is awesome. I love these houses. Man. They're really, they're really sick. Okay. Well, we'll sort out the paperwork a little bit later. I'll get you to sign the creeper waiver form and we're all good. Bam. Bam. Sounds good, Cortez. Thanks, man. Yeah, no worries. No worries at all. <laughs> Well, we've had some success, guys. We've sold one of our houses to Hungry Squid. The cheapest house. Actually, it may not be the cheapest house because that jukebox cost me a diamond to make. So maybe he actually got a pretty good deal there considering I don't think I'm getting any money for it. But as you can see, we have been working on the city for Persia and there's not going to be a name for this city I can't name it after a real city because we've got the Hagia Sophia from Istanbul over here and the hanging gardens from who knows where over here so it's just a just a made up Persian city but last time we only had three houses and I've added another four and the plan had been that uh, once I build a few I could just sort of mesh them together and come up with new designs really quickly and get these done fast. That has not happened. These have taken me ages and ages to build. But I think that's kind of what's kept me motivated. You see, I'm doing them all on exactly the same floor plan. You can see over here I've got these 9 by 9 areas marked out for houses. So using that as a base, I've tried to come up with heaps and heaps of different designs even though they're basically the exact same shape so it has been a little bit of a challenge but yeah it has kept me motivated and the great thing about that is if you look at it from above because they all have that similar shape it does look like some city planning has gone into this you know what guys it is just a little bit crazy that I built this entire building the ISFER just as a bulk storage room. <laughs> it's, it's a little bit overkill, but gosh, it does look good. So we have been working on the bazaar, and I've finally got every single shop in, and that was that's a bigger task than you would think. I'm not sure exactly how many shops I've got there, maybe 12, thinking up something different for every single one, and then decorating them. That took forever. 
Check this out though. This is not the front of the Hagia Sophia. This is just the side, but I decided to put this road facing right at the middle of it. So I just think that looks super duper cool. It is very, very grand when you're walking down that road. But here we go, guys. The shops are all in, and you can see I put the colorful fronts, the uh, the little woolen, whatever you call them, in front of each shop. So it looks nice and nice and colorful. But here we go. And you know what, guys? I very seriously considered putting a Chinese takeout shop in here just because I was running out of ideas. But here we go. Here we go. The first one. We have a little bookshop and some places to sit down and peruse the books to see if we want to buy them. The second one is for artwork. So we've got lots of paintings, a little sculpture, a little sculpture-y thing down there, and a nice pretty rug. That's also for sale. The next shop, what's this? Oh, it's a jeweler's shop. So didn't really know what to do for decoration with this one, so I've just put a few things in item frames. They also sell watches here. So that's pretty cool. What is this one? Aha, this is a butcher. And if you take a closer look, it's pretty disgusting. We've got some animal heads on the ground here. I don't have a pig head. If I'd had a pig head, I actually would have put it up on the bench here for sale because apparently people eat them. Oh, and this, I'm not sure if it works, but I've got fence gates in front of the meat on the item frames, trying to make it sort of look like it's, uh, it's hanging from the walls that meat that is getting dried out. All right, the next shop. This is pretty obvious. We are selling flowers right here. Oh, and here's another design that I've done with my shops. See, we're reaching out into the middle of the street here when they, they open up their store in the morning, they start setting things up. But the idea is we've got this undercover bit. At night time, when we're locking up, we can pull all these little roller things down and lock all our goodies up safe and sound during the night. So yeah, I think that looks that looks pretty good and it works well. So over here we've got an armory, of course, an armorer. And that's all enchanted gear too. And what do we have over here? Ah, this is kind of like a storage solutions shop. So we've got ender chests, normal chests, little cups. And this is pretty cool. I've got a an actual big trunk here that you can open and close. So that's all right. Persian rugs. So this was always going to be with glazed terracotta on the ground. And I've got a few hanging from the walls up the back. I probably should have decorated them with something, but you know, it doesn't matter. It, <laughs> I've been blasting through these, trying to get these done quickly. Ah, this one, this is a tea shop, but, uh, Something funny is going on here because in Persia they also have these big tobacco smoking pipe things. So this is one of them and the guy's got his little chair here to sit down so he can smoke away. So I guess he's also selling tobacco. But there are a few magic mushrooms lying around here on the ground. So yeah, this this guy, I think he might have to post a lookout. He is selling something a little bit untoward. And here we have a tailor. Or a leather worker. Something like that. So he's selling outfits made of leather. And of course, squids, non-defective camels. That is a perfect camel. There is nothing at all wrong with that one. He is perfectly good. And last of all, kebab shop. I don't know if that's an Australian thing, but that is sort of a bit of a joke. <laughs> So I might end up cutting this episode a little bit short. I don't know if you can tell, but I am getting sick, which means I won't be able to talk pretty soon, which also means my next episode will probably be a time lapse. And it's a little bit unfortunate because I was looking forward to starting to do some farmland out here, but it looks like we might be going onto the creative server and I'm starting to think maybe the wood elves that I've been building their civilization, maybe they are going to do some farming, because I really feel like doing some fields. So, yeah, look forward to that one. But before we leave, I have to do a little bit more around the bazaar. It's not quite done yet. I kind of feel like it needs a statue or two at the front, just a little one, just to make it a bit more grander on the entrance. And then up the back, this back entrance comes out at the peasant village. So a lot of them would be running the shops here. So I need to connect the roads up 
and also probably put a bit of storage stuff all around the backs here that the, the customers are never going to see, but the shopkeepers, they, they need to bring stuff in there. So maybe even a little wagon. Did, did they have wagons in Persia? I'm sure they did. I'll, I'll Google it. I'll do about two minutes of research. That'll be more than I usually do. But anyway, guys, I'm going to get to work on that, and we will come back, and then we will finish the episode. Well, no statues just yet, but I've put in a couple of date palms just to frame the bazaar to match the ones down the end there. But I'm actually kind of thinking, now I'm here, this is probably a bit too much sandstone. I wonder if mixing in... Oops, and I knocked out far too many of those. Let's put you back. I wonder if mixing in some of this... Oh, that does look better immediately. Look at this, guys. We're actually building on camera, but I'm not going to finish it. I have to do that up the other end as well. That does look so much better. Maybe a bit more detail. Maybe some chiseled bricks there. We'll do that later. I'm finishing the episode. I just want to show you what I've done. So not much just here. Just a couple of palm trees. But on, And I've only done a little bit around here. But I'm super duper happy with it. So a few crates. All the storage for the shopkeepers is around here. But these carts turned out so much better than I thought they would. These are almost tutorial worthy i think they look super duper cool so we've just got a couple of carts that the peasants have brought in and a bit of junk lying around stuff that they couldn't fit into their shops just yet and we need more of this all around the bazaar but for the moment that will do so thanks for watching guys i hope you enjoyed the episode and don't forget if you have any orders for non-defective camels, just leave leave those orders in the comments and we will see if we can rustle up a camel for you. And by the way, make sure to check out Hungry Squid's channel. The link will be in the description. Go show him some love. So I'm off now, guys. Cheers. Thanks for watching. I'm Cortez Reno. See you later.